So welcome back to this Doom 3 playthrough. We're actually on part 10. And yes, I actually took the time this time to check what part we're on. So there it is. Now, if you haven't already, click the subscribe button. That does really help us out. Otherwise, leave us a like, dislike, or a comment below the video. Click the alert button if you want to be notified when we post new content. Or drop by the channel, Tom's World, for a neighborly visit and a list of all our videos. Oh, right up the top, a surprise. Oh, with the brain flying. <laughs> Oh, gosh. Well, I suppose if you can't kind of, uh, you know, uh, have a ball movement right off the top, it's not much fun. Okay, uh, ooh, a health thing. Oh, but you know what? We got a bad guy there that we got to get through first. Oh, jeez, and he's defending that health thing. Oh, can I live? Okay, what are their awfuls? What, a hell, a hell knight's going to spawn right in front of that health thing, right? Right? Oh, no, what? 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 Ah, uh, so it giveth and it taketh away. Yes. Okay. Gimme. 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 Okay. So right. So subscribers. So I'm up to the dizzying heights of 17, and I'm not making fun of that. I appreciate every each and every last one of them who took the time to subscribe to my little channel. Uh, and I tried to give them shout outs and call outs and I really do appreciate it. I made some new friends and all the rest of it. But we're going to go on a big, big uh, subscription drive and I'm hoping to hit the dizzying heights of 20. Okay. So if you haven't already, uh, subscribe to the channel if you're enjoying the videos. But being the marketing genius that I am, I think I have a plan to get these subscriberships up. Now, I noticed that cat videos and cat video channels get like a billion subscribers, right? So, okay, I don't want to post cat videos, and I shouldn't make fun of cat videos. Cats are nice. I know people that have them. They're fluffy. They purr and all that. I get it. And I don't want to uh, get the get the um, the cat god's wrath on me again. And Oh, what? Oh, jeez. What's he doing there? Oh, gosh. Oh, cleared that out already. Okay, and so my plan is what I'm going to do, like, you know when people stream videos and they put the picture in the top left, you know, whatever, bottom left corner or whatever. I think I'm going to do that, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to wear a cat costume. So we kind of going to get our Doom 3 uh, videos, and we're also going to have our cat uh, sort of theme in there too. So um, I think it's a brilliant plan. I think it's going to lead to a lot of subscribers, and, um, you know, I think... I think Microsoft should hire me as a marketing genius for that idea. So don't use that idea because it's mine. Okay, there it is. All right, so what do we got? Oh, 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 okay. Okay, we're good. Oh, I like this a lot. Okay, that's good. All right. Oh, new level. Very nice. Okay, so we're going to crack on. We're going to move on. All right, what's going on here? Oh no, what? Oh gosh, that bridge broke. Oh, 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 floating jellyfish brain thing. Cacko demon, cacko demon, oh. Okay, we got another one way over there. Okay, what do we got? Where is he? Shooting plasma at us. Okay, oh, we got him, buddy. Took a little shot at us there at the end. Oh, we need some oxygen. Okay, gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give oh. Okay, so I was talking to my buddy from Bulgaria, Vic, uh, Vic Vorti, and we were talking about subject matter for the Doom 3 editor series, and he suggested I do airlocks, and I think it's a great topic. So I did a bit of research, went into the Doom maps, had a look, and guys, they are like super complicated, yeah. They're made up of a, of a lot of parts, and that's not really the big deal. The big deal is the scripting is as long as my arm. And I think uh, it's going to intimidate people, especially new who are new to the editor. And I don't really know about a video. What? About a video that... Oh, Pinky Demon! Oh, no! Oh. Yeah, and I don't know about a video that's, you know, three hours long on how to build airlocks. And so, unfortunately, sadly, I think we're going to have to pass on those guys. Uh oh, uh oh, what? Ooh, Razorback guy, oh no. Okay, no big deal. Okay, and you, pistol action, yes. Good shot, good shot. Oh, there he goes, okay. I was gonna try to run around and get a bum shot to see if that uh, works any better, but uh, okay, we'll stick with that. Okay, what do we got? Oh, we're kinda low on health. Uh, but anyways, if you if you really desperately want to put airlocks in your levels, you can always kind of cut and paste them out of the id maps. Um, now, unfortunately, you know, it's not going to make the scripting too much easier. Ooh, the big guy. Oh, there we go. And I thought, yes, I did. I heard one of those things, too. Oh, 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 what? Oh. Ugh. 
Okay, yeah, so what I was saying that, you know, if you really, really want to do an airlock in your maps, just kind of cut and paste them out of the maps. You're going to have to cut and paste the script as well. And, uh, you know, if you get stuck and the scripting is giving you a hard time, you know, drop me in. Oh, gosh, what is the... Oh. Oh, maybe we can do one of those Spider-Man kiss things. Uh, no, I think I'll pass. Um, you know, if you're having problems with the uh, with the scripting for the airlocks or whatever, drop me a note, a comment, whatever, email, and then I'll do what I can to help you out. So there it is. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to save. And, um, you know, I... Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, I recognize this. Oh, gosh. Okay, breathe. Breathe. We can do this. Okay, this, let's face our worst fears. Okay, let's do this. Oh, gosh. Okay, oh, it's a revenant. It's a skull thing with freaking rockets. Oh gosh. Okay, watch it. Those 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 rockets are kind of guided, so you have to be careful. Oh wow. Okay, well, it looks like there's a new bad guy in town. Great. Just what we need to join the party, a freaking walking skeleton with guided missiles. Oh, who comes up with this stuff? Jesus. Why can't we just have, like, I don't know, like a pink cat demon? Oh, no, not another one. Okay, he gets the full plasma gun. Oh, look at that. He didn't get a shot off on us. Nice. Okay, uh, you know what? Let's do a little bit of barrel clearing here just in case. So what horrors they're gonna drop on us. Okay, done. Let's reload. Okay, now it looks like there's like a ramp over there. And I do hear an imp. That kind of, I don't know how to describe it. It's kind of like a, I don't know, like a groaning sound or a clicking sound or something. Oh gosh, I think he's in that room. Yes. Can you hear him? Oh, there he is! There he is! Okay, watch it, watch it. We're gonna hit him with the barrels if we can. Okay, we never got him. Oh, there we go. Oh, gosh. You know, I've seen these imps a billion times, and it still r makes the hair on my head stand. Oh, 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 look at that. Oh, that's a Marine's field day. Okay, well, we're gonna remember where that health is, because that might come in handy. Oh, we got plasma. Okay, nice. Oh, yeah, thanks for the scary voiceover. Very nice, as if it's not scary enough already. Okay, you know what? I'm going to keep this plasma gun handy because um, it, 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 these, these things are getting harder now. Anything good in that corner? No. Okay, let's go. Oh, gosh. Okay, what's going on? Oh, I hear kind of pinky demon growling. Oh, there's an adrenaline. Oh, 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 nice move to the side there. Nice move to the side. Okay, and I have no patience for you, so there, take that. Now, I have adrenaline, which means I could run forever, but unfortunately, it only lasts for a little while, and really, uh, you know, okay, I do like running. Abs oh, jeez. Oh, no, what? What? Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Boom. Oh. Whenever these barrels are around, I get a little bit scared. Okay, I'm not going to worry about that adrenaline. I'm not going to force myself to run forward fast. It's not going to get me anywhere. Let's play guarded. Let's play um, even-handedly and carefully here. So, Alright, so what else is new? I hope everybody's doing well. The spring is definitely here in Canada. Finally, there's no more 4 feet of snow out and 40 below with 100 below with the windshield. So that's nice. Oh, no. It's not funny! Okay. Whoa. Oh, 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 Okay, they're starting to come behind us now, so we're going to start checking our six more regularly. Where did he come from? Uh, I guess fell out of there. Oh, gosh. Ugh. Okay, and uh, I know that it's also spring in Bulgaria, because uh, Vic said so. So that's nice. So we're all kind of enjoying the warmer weather. Thank goodness. I actually go outside without frostbite. Okay, so, whoa, oh, 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 okay. Down we go into the bowels of hell, I guess. Should actually reload here real quick. Okay, I hear claws on the floor. Oh, 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 he got us once. He jumped on us. Oh, another one, another one. Oh, oh that was kind of a snapshot. That guy was right on me. Okay, yeah, so, 
Alright, so spring is here, thank goodness. It's nice. It's always kind of... Oh no! Another snapshot, didn't even have time to think. And it always, it's a little, it's always nice and invigorating when, when, when the snow subsides. Oh no. Okay, let's run away from that guy. Oh, we got another one? Yep, we got two of them there. Uh-oh. Oh, see it? See that rocket went right around the corner and got me. Okay, where's that other one? There he is. Oh, oh. run away from his rockets. Okay, we got him. Oh. Kind of makes that sound so you know he's dead. Oh no, what, what, what? Yeah, we'll just get out of the way. We shot him, but he still managed to get a fireball off on us. Okay, so what else we got on our list here? So I just wanted to mention again that I was posting some of my uh, model pictures on Facebook. I've been building scale models uh, for quite some time. I did it when I was a kid and I kind of picked it up a little bit later when I became an adult. And I also want to take pictures of them and I finally kind of got some lights and you know I had a camera before but you kind of need lights uh, to, to photograph them properly. And uh, so slowly I've been kind of photographing them and you know I do have my own website and server but I decided to put them on, ooh, on Facebook because I uh, might as well uh, you know use the space on Facebook right? So if you're at all interested, look me up on Facebook. Again, I don't go there very often, but it's a nice place to park photos and that. And So uh, check those out if you're so inclined. Okay, so what do we got? We're going to save. We're not doing great on uh, our plasma gun, so let's go back. Oh, what? Oh, he's going to try to do a jumping attack on us. Okay, we got him. Oh. We got lucky there because he didn't get his jumping attack because there's really no way to get away from that. Um, the developers very often um, put it right in an inopportune place, so... Okay, what do we got here? This is kind of scary. Oh, Pinky, Pinky! Okay, take that, Pinky. Uh, oh, two of them! Two of them! Oh, no, not another one. Oh, jeez. Okay, he's gonna get the machine gun, actually. Okay, we should be good. Oh, three of them. Like, as if one's not enough, right? Okay, so we got three of them. It's kind of weird, these pipes kind of sticking out of nowhere. Okay, so let's save. Make sure we save a lot here. Okay, what horrors lie await here for us? Okay, that is one hork and scary hallway. Okay, what do we got? Oh, oh, oh! Yeah. Okay, and I was talking about Facebook, and you know, again, another story about how uh, Facebook um, user data got released again. I mean, every week we hear about this, right? Like, it's pathetic, okay? Uh -oh, uh -oh, uh -oh, uh -oh. Watch your six, watch your six. Oh, whoa, 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 we ran right around that guy, nice. Okay, we're gonna watch our six more because uh, some level designer here is taking fiendish delight in spawning things behind us, so... Oh, what? Oh, uh. You know you're in trouble when you get scared from steam. That's actually a pretty cool effect. Okay, oh, we got a little orgy of shards, which is always nice. Again, that barrel is just, uh, just screaming to be, uh, blowed up. Oh, 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 I don't want to waste that barrel on that zombie. I, oh, we're stuck. We are stuck because there's a guy behind us. Okay. Oh, wow. Did we ever get on there? Holy cow. And our great plans to use the barrel just got shot. Okay, we gotta watch our six more because this is getting ridiculous with these things jumping behind us. Okay, I'm just gonna run back here real quick to grab a health. Uh, you know what? I think it was really far away. No, it was just over here, so let me just go grab that. Okay, sorry. Oh, where was that? What was that health? Okay, looks like it was a little farther back than I... Okay, no, we're not gonna go back farther. Okay, we're good. Ah, uh, 37 health, not so great, but... Let's crack on. We're gonna do our uh, Resident Evil 2 uh, high stress situation again, so... Okay, I gotta get my run back. Okay, so, you know, like I was saying, yeah, another data breach by Facebook. You know, Zuckerberg's got like about 67 billion dollars, right? He's got some big property over there. I don't begrudge him. Hey, you know what? If you make a product that people like, that's fantastic. Um, but, you know, 
they can't even uh, secure the data. So yeah, pretty pathetic. So basically with Facebook, I don't share any of my data and I just post pictures there. So, uh, you know, if they want to steal that, uh, God bless them. Okay, so here we go. What do we got? I don't know. I think I need my plasma handy here, so. Oh, no. What? What? Creepy sound. Oh, those revenants. Oh, okay. It's just a fat guy. Okay, look. I don't like calling people fat, uh, but actually that is the character's name in the actual game. It's called Fatty, so. I'm just calling him by his name. Okay, I don't disparage big people. I think they're lovely. Some of my best friends are big people. Okay, what do we got here? Oh, thank you. Thank you. Okay, we're gonna run back here to safety. Let's get that plasma gun fired up. Okay, there we go. There we go. And you know, with Facebook, it's it's actually probably not as popular as it used to be. A lot of the young people I talk to uh, say, you know, Instagram is where it's at now. So I'm gonna actually check out Instagram one of these days. Yeah, I hear big tech guy doing uh, Doom 3 uh, editor videos, and I don't even uh, have a Instagram account. So I do apologize, guys. Okay, so there it is. Let's see what we got. We're gonna get our plasma handy here. Any more? Ooh, right there. And I do hear an imp, I thought. Did I hear an imp? No, it's just my mind playing tricks. Oh, yes, I did hear one. Oh, man, we are already down on health. Ah. Uh, it's the Facebook curse. There's a health right there. Oh, 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 oh. where is he? Where is he? Okay, I did hear one of them revenant things, and it's probably gonna spawn on me once I hit this health, so let me grab that. Okay, actually, I, I kinda know where he is, so... Okay, there he is there. Let's hit him with a grenade. Let's get our plasma fired up here. Let's make sure we have something to hide behind. Okay, did we get him? Okay, there he goes. Oh, just make sure you got something between him and his missiles and you should be okay. All right, let's hit save. Let's reload. Yeah, okay, there we go. Nice. Okay. All right, so now the other thing I did want to talk about is, as I've been kind of threatening, is I'm going to start doing some live action video. Now, I'm not quite ready to show my face yet to the world. Like, the world needs another ugly face. Um, but uh, I think the scale modeling is going to be a nice topic. So I'm going to do that. And a lot of times when people make those videos and they do kit reviews and the like, uh, they show their hands. So I'm going to try to do that first. Oh, gosh, look at that. That is so tempting, but I know something awful, terrible is going to happen if I grab that. So let's try it. And yep, I was right. And we're kind of captive. We got nowhere to run. Okay, whoa. You feel so vulnerable because you got nowhere to run. I don't want to fall back down there. Okay, and I do hear another one of them. What? Oh, he got us by surprise. Oh, there he is. Oh, but we did get some plasma for our troubles. Nice. Okay. Right, so live action video. So as I said in a past video, I did buy a camera, not the most expensive one. I bought a boom arm, which I'm going to use to mount the camera, but I'm just waiting for the actual model to come. And I ordered it through Amazon, and um, unfortunately, I do think it's coming all the way from Japan or China or Taiwan. So it's probably on a ship as we speak, crossing the Pacific Ocean, so hopefully that's going to come pretty soon. And once that comes in, we are going to do our first live action. Oh, what? Here it am. Okay, and he kind of gave cover to the. There is a revenant there, but he's captive, so that's good. Can't come after us, which I am very glad. And I'm gonna be a bit wimpy here, guys, because I'm very low on health. So, all right, what do we got? Oh, there he goes. Okay, nice. Oh, I wish they were all captive like that. Oh gosh. Okay, well, let's crack on. So I'm really looking forward to doing that live action video. I'm going to start off with a very, very small, simple model kit to begin with. It's called a Kuba Wagon. It's, it's kind of the German Army World War II equivalency to the Willys Jeep. So I'm going to start that because it's small, it's simple, and uh, we'll see how that goes. So if you guys are at all interested in scale modeling, or hey, if you're not, here's your chance to be. So there it is. Warning. Oh, Flow gosh. System failure. Toxins identified. Execute cleanup procedure. Okay, well, well, what do I just use a rag or like what do I call? Oh. Okay, so admittedly not the greatest slime I've ever seen, but I guess it works. Okay, let's save. 
Let's jump over here. Oh, I hear an imp. Uh, I hear an imp. I wonder if I should be in a wimp and, well. Oh no, there he goes. See, you don't have a chance when they do that jumping attack. And they're chipping away. Oh, and another one. And they're chipping away at my health and I got stuck there, so. Okay, let's go up here. Oh. What? Control system failure. Toxins identified. I do see a Execute barrel over there. Let's blow it up. No, I don't think I got anything. Okay. Let's go. Oh. Okay, there is a health there. Let's grab it. Oh, there's an imp, 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 imp. Okay, and you know what we're going to do? I'm going to give him that. There we go. Nice grenade action. Oh, razor thing? Oh. Okay, not too tough if you can see him. It still uh, gives me shivers up the side of my face, but, um, you know, not too bad. Okay, what's going on? What? Oh, oh, oh. Okay, a little bit of armor. Okay, I have a lot of armor. I need, I need health is what I need. Okay, this is bringing bad back, bad memories of that freaking communication thing. Oh, 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 oh. Ugh. Okay, I think we're okay. Okay, just know when they have a health, they're gonna have something jump on you. Okay, an imp, let's run away. Oh, okay, yeah, you know what? We're gonna let him suck on that. Boom, nice. Okay, let's save. Gotta love grenades, and I got a lot of them too. But again, there's a danger in these really tight corridors for the thing to bounce back up in your face, so. It's kind of a, uh, I think they do that mechanic on purpose, just so you can't kind of spam grenades, so. Okay, what do we got here? Oh, oh. Speaking of spamming grenades, let's hit that guy with that. Oh, yes. Glorious. One thing that this game is missing, and I remember it was in Quake 2, was that grenade launcher. Gosh, I love that thing. And I remember the sound it made was really cool, so. Really too bad they didn't have that in Doom 3. It's kind of looking forward to that when I uh, saw Doom 3 come out. Oh gosh. Oh, we got a PDA, nice. Oh, and a video disc, which I'm not gonna bother watching. Oh, thank you, you beautiful, marvelous technology wonder. Okay, let's extend that. Oh, well, look, a moving bridge. And we know how to do that from our Doom 3 editor series, yes. And this time it got the texture right. You see, that's how it's supposed to look. Sometimes on the ladders, I don't know, they didn't size it properly. It looks like a candy cane, so. All right, now we can't go there. So let's see. Oh, no, what? Okay, we got two imps in tight quarters. Oh, yes, okay, boom, there we go. Okay, we can't go back to that health thing, so we have to be careful. Okay, it's just a just a process of chipping away at our health. Okay, nothing to press there. Okay, why do I think this is bad news? Okay, let's just take a second here and check out our PDA, see what we got. Nick Sadowaji. Okay, very nice. Hazmat response. This is the audio log of Nicola Sedgway, member of UAC Mars Hazmat Response Team, dated October 1st, 2145. We have concluded that the Martian atmosphere is wreaking havoc on the exhaust valve seals in the standard number 5 disposal grounds. Engineers cannot explain the high level of contaminants in our internal atmosphere. The air scrubbers and filtration systems all seem to be operating at normal levels. A small layer of particulate is making it into the storage area. That is what caused the lockdown yesterday. EAP Director Charles Hollis informs me that the personnel won't be harmed by these contaminants in the air, but we've seen that they do cause a corrosive reaction when introduced to the rubber compounds used in the storage system. systems. Shut down. Effective immediately, all number five disposal drums must be locked away in at least a class two rated transport medium. Assessment ends. Okay, very nice. Now Okay, I could be wrong, but that definitely sounded like a fake Russian accent, so. Okay, so actually this is timely because we're going to get onto a Russian theme here. Okay, so back in a video or two, we had a subscriber who used a Russian name. I can't remember if he subscribed or commented on the video. And, uh, you know, we went through this whole rigmarole of Vic translating it for me and all the rest of it. And, in fact, I actually met him online today. I went to the Tech forums on the Discus group. 
and he's actually from, let me just get this right, uh, from Argentina, from Buenos Aires, and he goes by the name of Stradex, hope I'm pronouncing that right, they're on Discus Group. So if you want to go on that It Tech for Discus group and give him a hard time, hey, you have my um, my blessing. And of course I'm kidding when I say give him a hard time. He's a very nice guy. Uh, him and Admir 456, and actually Admir 456, he's from Bosnia Herzegovina, and he was sort of teasing us, saying that we can't pronounce that, but hey, I just pronounced it, pal. And anyways, um, so a little bit about Admiral 456, he was also on that it for groups. Now he's actually um, a, a man of many skills. He's a modder. Oh no, what? Oh, I think we're okay. Where is he? I heard an imp. Okay, so, uh, right, oh. Okay, so what I was saying, um, yeah, Admiral 456, uh, he actually is a model builder, not scale models, but actually like in 3ds Max, and actually I think he said he worked in, oh gosh, I'm going to get this wrong, I think he said he worked in Blender. I can't remember, I do apologize, I don't remember um, what uh, software he uses to build uh, three-dimensional models. Um, but he's a modder, and he does more than just 3D models, he does, um, you know, sound, and he does map, map design, and other things. And uh, so him and Stradex and me, we kind of had a little chat for about half an hour on that group, and it was a lot of fun. We had a lot of laughs. So if you guys want to pop on over there and meet some people who are into modding and Doom 3 and a Tech 4, it actually has a section on Quake 4 as well. Okay, sorry, that that there's an imp around here somewhere. Okay, let's save. Uh, yeah, so drop by the channel for a little bit of chat, a little bit of fun and joking around, and uh, that would be nice. Okay, there it is. All right, nice. Okay. Ooh, what? Uh, let's get out of here. Okay, I'm going to just get a little distance from this guy because I'm kind of low on my health. Okay, so yeah, he's just an... Oh, I'm not low on health. I got 100. Ha, ha, ha. So that can be reckless, right? No, no, no. Okay, so that's that. Let's save. I'm gonna get my uh, freaking plasma gun standing by here because I know something terrible is gonna happen. Okay, so what do we got? Oh, oh, oh. Okay, I keep hitting one thinking I'm getting my pistol, but it's actually the, the, the fist. I keep forgetting about that, so. Okay, let's save that. Let's get the plasma gun fired up. Oh no, what? What is that, an imp? Okay, no big deal. Okay, I don't really want to waste my plasma on an M. Oh. Okay, piece of cake. Oh, gosh. Still getting the chills up the spine. I've seen a million imps in this game, and I still get scared when I see them. Okay, what's going on? Oh. 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 Okay, we're just overreacting. Okay, uh, we're going to go there. We're going to save. Okay, let's go. Oh. Let's crack on. Uh oh, 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 I've never heard that sound before. Kind of a ticking or a clicking or something. Okay, we got a health there, thank goodness. This basically means we're gonna need it, probably. Oh, 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 pinky, pinky. There's a little funky jump to the side. Oh, he almost got us. Oh, another one, another one, another one, another one. Okay, we're gonna have to run away from this guy. Oh. Did we get him? Oh, we got him. Nice. Okay. Oh, like one isn't enough, right? They have to throw two at you. Okay, I'm getting kind of low. Ah, oh, well. Okay, the machine gun's not the most powerful thing in the game, but I guess it's going to have to do. Oh, there's more plasma. Thank you. Thank you, Wid. Thank you, Wid. Just in time. Oh, and we got a health thing on there. Okay, a couple little shards. Okay, we, we're actually topped up on health, so... What is that? What is that? Oh, webs. Oh, no. Oh, if I get that that evil spider woman again? Oh, no. Okay, actually, I, I think we're good because I think we only see that spider lady once. So, oh, no. Oh, no. Ticks. Okay, and we're also going to... Yeah, see? I was going to say we're going to check our six, and there they were. Okay, there's one level designer here who got involved with these levels who said, Hey, it'll be fun to spawn monsters behind the player. 
But you know what? That's actually astute gameplay, uh, game design, because, you know, if you see the way I play, I kind of run away. And normally I only do that when I do my playthroughs, because, you know, look, it's embarrassing to die a million times, okay? Uh, I don't like to cut out the deaths, so I kind of want to leave them in, but that said, I'd rather play a little bit careful and not die like a billion times, right? But it's good It's good level design when it keeps you on, on the edge, right? You're always looking back and making sure you're okay and all the rest of that. And uh, that's kind of the way modern horror games have gone. I mean, RE, uh, Resident Evil 2, it's all about stress and tension and always being on edge and low on ammunition and, you know, always scared and... And, you know, Doom 3 was, was original. That was back in 2004. Um, and again, even back then, they kind of knew, uh, you know, how to make people scared. Spawning things behind, jump scares, you know, scary noises, ambience. And those are all things that, uh, you, know, you know, are universally uh, make people scared, right? Especially the dark, like the unknown. That's probably the biggest fright, right? Things we don't understand or things we've never seen before. Those are the most, uh, you know, uh, disconcerting and the most unnerving. And I think uh, sort of Doom 4 goes, uh, sorry, Doom 3 went to the max on that stuff. So, okay, let's save. All right, let's crack on. Okay, and I did want to mention that uh, we did post up another editor video. Uh, what we did was we kind of stayed away from the heady stuff. Um, sometimes we get into scripting and other things, and we just kind of um, concentrated on building hallways. Now, on, the, on its face, it sounds kind of boring, but um, I think they're kind of cool because we do a lot of curved hallways. We did some barrel vaults. We did some curved barrel vaults, and I also did what's called a groin vault. Now, if you want to look those up on the internet, feel free, but uh, we, um, we had a look at in the editor how to build all those with patch meshes and brushwork, so no model work required. So it's kind of a light video, a little bit easier um, than usual, but I hope Hopefully people will be interested in it. So if you ever wondered how Doom 3 game was built, oh gosh. Okay, we got one of those revenant things over there, but thank goodness it's captive, so he's over there, he can't get us. So we'll just kind of plink away at him here. Oh gosh, those rockets. And thank goodness those rockets fly pretty slow, so we have a little bit of time to get out of the way. Yeah, so if you if you are into uh, into uh, level design and game design things like that, especially if you're a beginner, uh, the Doom Three editor is a great place to start because you can buy the game for like I don't know what it goes for now, like four bucks on Steam, and it comes with that editor, and it's a fully function editor and a great place to learn. And there are still resources out there, and I thought by publishing a few videos that would get people interested in it again. And you know what? After oh, what spiders are on our six? Oh gosh, there he is. Oh. Oh, and I'm trying to talk and, you know, constantly on edge here because something's going to jump up behind me. Okay, let's crack on. Oh, gosh, that's scary. Okay, now we have to... We cannot touch that slime. So we have to be careful here. And then, of course, they're going to throw something bad at us, right? When we're stuck on... Oh, 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 okay. oh, that was easy. Got him with that barrel thing. Okay, so famous last words. I don't know how much health that loses if you hit the slime, but try not to hit it. And we're going to have to do something here. Oh, gosh. Okay, this is going to be kind of scary. Okay, well, see this thing right in our face. Right in our face. No, actually, that was a lot easier than I thought. Oh, I think I, I think in a past um, time I played through this game, I, I tried to go at it with a shotgun. It was okay. He guy does have a melee attack, but he hit me with a couple of... Uh, oh, no. Oh, come on. Oh, I hate wasting plasma on those things, but, you know, that was kind of a, a reflex shot. Okay, what's going on? Oh, 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 oh. Oh, and you know what? One thing I did want to try. Let me see if I remember the command for it. R underscore show... If I could remember this. Oh, gosh. Come on, let's get my hands on the keyboard here, right? R underscore show light count one okay now this is not just a funky way to play through uh, doom 3 but in one of our tutorials we had a look at optimizing our maps and i never actually checked it out to see how these doom maps are optimized and if you look 
We're looking for cyan or pink, and that means that they have way too much light overlap. And if you look, the doom maps are actually pretty good. Red, green, blue, that's all good. So actually, these guys passed the test. Okay, let's get out of here. That's hard on the eyes. Only a level designer would understand what I just did. I mean, I guess if you take a hit of acid or something and you want to be freaked out and play the game, go ahead and do that. But uh, that's for optimization in case you're interested. Okay, well, are we stuck? Okay, we're good. Okay, let's save. And I do hear an imp. It's crackle. Oh, no, the bug freaking. Oh, gosh. Okay, they kind of deked us out. They gave us an imp sound, then they threw one of those razorback thingies at us. Oh, there he is up there. Okay, so he's captive. So we can kind of plink it away at him. Ah, uh, you know, I would like to actually throw a grenade at him, but it'll probably ba bounce back and hit us in the face. So let's just, we'll just plink away at him. I think most people play the game this way. Okay, there he goes. Nice. Okay, we're good. All right, so let's get our shotgun in case some horrifying jumps out at us, which is sure to do. Ooh, nice. We got a little bit of uh, health and ammo that... Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. Ugh. Okay, that's a rocket launcher, guys. Okay, now my biggest beef is that... Um, look at how tiny it looks. It kind of looks a little bit stubby. I kind of always thought the weapons kind of looked small in Doom 3. And it's funny, I remember I worked on a game, 2 Rock, and <laughs> the weapons in that were, like, ridiculously large. Some of them were bigger than the player. But... Uh, I think in terms of scale, when you look through it through first person, it looks fine. But when you look through it through third person, it looks a little bit small. But anyways, that's again a little bit esoteric. Okay, let's let's crack on. Now we've been playing for a little while now. Oh, another airlock. Nice. We're sort of on an airlock theme. Okay, let's crack on for a little while longer. Normally I like to keep the playthroughs at a reasonable length, but uh, kind of having fun, so let's keep going. All right, so what else we got? So we talked about the editor. Oh, okay, now, I think, um, you know, as I said, I'm going to probably keep doing editor videos um, to sort of coincide with our Doom 3. Oh, gosh, what do we got here? Okay, let's get this thing fired up. Okay, we got another Revenant. Oh, we missed him. Missed him again. Uh, did we miss him again? Okay, uh, well, let's get him with our plasma gun. So, so far, our debut with our uh, rocket launcher has been a disaster. Oh, and we kind of got foisted off our own guitar. Woo! There he goes. Okay, nice. Okay, I gotta look for some oxygen here, otherwise I'm gonna die of oxygen starvation. Okay, we gotta come up here. and Let's reload. Grab some health. We gotta jump up here. Okay, we gotta run across this bridge. And then I'm sure we'll get molested by a monster. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. Flying cacket even brain thing. Okay. Oh, let's get him. Okay, we got him. Nice. Okay, let's hit uh, some oxygen. I think that was it, right? No, one more, one more, one more just to chew up our plasma. Okay, he's gone. Okay, anything good? Okay, we're good. All right, and let's open up the bay door. And, uh, oh, and we're on to a new map. Woohoo! All right. Well, we did pretty good this level, actually. Okay, so what I was saying, yeah, so we're going to keep doing our, ed, uh, our Doom 3 editor video to kind of coincide with our, uh, our um, Doom 3 playthrough. Uh, so we still have a few coming up. I mean, we, I think we've been playing, we're probably a little bit over half of our Doom 3 playthrough, so we got, we got a few more editor videos. But, you know, I'm starting to think about life after Doom 3, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to start uh, looking at the Unreal 4 editor. Now, that is cutting-edge technology. It's still a little bit older. I think it came out, ooh, I think 2014, if I'm not mistaken. Somebody can correct me if I'm wrong. Um, and I think we're going to start looking at that. I'm going to start familiarizing myself with it, and I can definitely see some videos coming down the pike. So hopefully some people uh, who are interested in the Doom 3 editor uh, will follow along on Unreal. Making progress on... Oh. That is such a hurry to find oh. us, to find me. There's no need to rush. I am everywhere, and everything here is mine. It's a pity you did not alert the fleet, but it is of no consequence. I'll alert them myself. They will come to the rescue and be consumed by my legion. We will use their ships to bring this hell to Earth. You won't live to see it. And you will die long before you have a chance to warn them. 
Oh man. Okay, what's going on? Oh, 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 gosh, broken glass all over the place. Okay, we're not hitting him, we're hitting glass. Okay, and he's just gonna walk away. Okay, nice. Alright, so let's just hit that. We're good on health. That frickin' protruder guy. Oh, gosh. So even though we didn't summon the fleet, it sounds like he's gonna summon the fleet. So, as I said, I don't think there's much of a choice in that game. Uh-oh. Okay, so imps are not that big of a deal. Oh, no, just as I say that. And we got another one behind. Oh, wow. Okay, four imps. Woo. Oh, no, imps are no big deal. And then they spawn four in our face. Okay, nice. Ooh, a Claxton. I've been, I've been saying I was going to build a Claxton in the editor, so I'm going to have to do that one of these days. Okay, so what we do is we go up here. Okay, so the Unreal 4 engine, I'm not going to talk about it too much today, but I'm going to definitely rant and rave about it in upcoming videos because it is freaking amazing. And it's free, too. Uh, the learning curve is a little steep, but I did work in Unreal 3. Um, and a lot of it does translate, especially that... Uh, no, toxic gases. Oh, no. Oh, and look at how low we are on plasma. Oh, gosh. Okay, well, let's make sure we're topped up. We're good. Okay, what's going on? Nope. Jumping attack. There we got him. Oh, there's another one over there. Okay. We can use our machine gun on him. Yeah. So, what? Where? Oh, he got us. Okay, watch it, watch it, watch it, watch it. And this is actually kind of a nice level. I like this. That Claxton is uh, adding some nice lighting effect. Okay, what do we got here? Oh, look at that. Oh, rocket ammunition. Thank goodness. Okay, how much we got for rocket? Oh, a lot. Okay, we're, we're looking good on rocket. Not so good on plasma. And plasma is kind of my weapon of choice in this area because it's getting harder, definitely. Yeah, so I'm going to start looking at the Unreal 4 engine, familiarizing myself with it, and I think once we transition out of Doom 3, we're going to go into Unreal 4 next. So I think it'll be a good fit, and uh, hopefully we'll uh, kind of bring on a new generation of, uh, of modders and editors with that. So I'm really looking forward to that, really excited about that. So hopefully you guys can join me. That coming up in probably in a few weeks. Not, not too long, so. Oh, no. Okay, I recognize that sound, and that is um, well. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna spoil it. Yeah, like you don't know after 14 Attention. years, right? But so I think we'll end it here today. So I just want to say, uh, you know, do take a moment to subscribe to the channel. Like I said, my big goal is the big two zero. So if you're watching the videos and you're enjoying them, uh, click that subscribe button. Like I said, no obligation, no cost, and it really does help us out. Leave us a like, dislike, or a comment below the uh, the uh, video. Uh, hit the notification button if you want alerts when we post new content or drop by the channel Tom's World for a neighborly visit and a list of all our videos. I want to thank you for joining me and watching. You stay well.